In this riddle, we're told to line up 15 quarters in this way. So we have 5, and then 4, 3, 2, and 1, uh, and form an equilateral triangle. And then we're told, pull away the 3 quarters that are at each corner. From the remaining corners, how many triangles or equilateral triangles can you make? So that's this riddle, and I'll, I'll give you a chance here. Solve it yourself. You can pause the video, but keep watching if you want to see how I solve it. Okay, so, so how do I deal with questions like this? Well, there are lots of possibilities, and to deal with a question like this, what I start to do is um, find different types of equilateral triangles. So I'm going to keep looking back at this diagram. In the first case, I'm going to try to find as many equilateral triangles that are like this. And by that I mean connected by the three quarters that are together, or touching. So we have one, two, right, three equilateral triangles right there. And then another one and two here. And then as you can guess, I think, down here there's also another equilateral triangle. So let's count that. We had one, two, three, right? One, two, three, four, five, six triangles that look like this. In other words, they're connected by three adjacent quarters. And in a way, I guess you could say that the top vertice, this point here, is facing up. Now you can already see that other triangles are starting to form. So now we can move on to our next type of triangle. And this time, let's use blue. So here, right, I have one of these triangles. And now this is the same size triangle, but now this point is facing down. And I only do this because it's my way of counting. It's my way of keeping track of what's happening. So now we have another one, two, and then here's three, right, four, five, six, and seven blue triangles. So we had six red, right, and then we had seven blue. So far we've got 13 triangles. And are there more? Yes. Now my diagram is going to start getting cluttered, so now I'm going to move on. I'm going to look for other kinds of triangles, not just from ones that can be connected by three adjacent quarters. So let's keep moving. So, so far we have 13 triangles, and we're going to pull away the, the quarters that are on the tips. And now let's look for other types. Well, what about, I'll go back to my line tool, what about triangles that are a little bit larger, like this one right here? So now in this chunk of triangles, I'll look for bigger ones. So it's three quarters at the base, and then these quarters up here, of course, are a different distance, but really it took one, two, three, four, five, six quarters to form this triangle. And I can find some other ones that also fall in this category. Right? We use a different color here, green, two. And then another one, let's use blue. Right? Three triangles here. Now we can ignore this other triangle in the, in the middle here because we already counted that. So now we have one, two, three triangles of this type where the points are facing down and they're this large. So we can add that to our total. But let's keep going. Let's use another color here. Here's a bolder one, green. What about triangles uh, like, like this right here? You can see that this triangle is going up. It's about the same size, it is the same size as the other ones before, but it's facing in a different direction. So there, in this case, we can have another triangle, a fourth triangle. So we have 13 and 3 and 1, that's 17 triangles so far. Are there more? The answer is yes, but they're going to look different, so we keep going. So I have 17 triangles so far. What am I missing? Well, we want to look at triangles that are now going to be different from the ones we've had so far. We really haven't had any triangles where, uh, I guess, how do I say this, the, the vertices or points kind of coming out to the side like this. Right? This triangle right here has not been touched yet. And this time I kind of, it's a little bit weirder than the others we've done so far, but this vertice over here is pointing to the right. So we haven't done that one yet. And this one as well, we haven't done yet. And we can find more of these. So now I'm looking for the quarters that go one, two quarters and skip a quarter in the middle like this. I'm going to find others like that. 
like right here. Right, I'm counting triangles of this type. So now I've got four of these, right? Five and six. And you can see that how quickly diagrams like this become cluttered. That's okay, we can handle it. And look around, are there any other triangles of this type that could fit uh, on the diagram? I think the answer is no. I think we got them all there. So that was one, two, I'm wishing I counted already, three, four, five, six. So we've got six triangles here. I hope I'm not missing anything there, because even my diagram, I'm certainly getting a little bit lost. It's 23 triangles, and are there more? The answer is yes. These ones, these last ones that I'm going to find right now, were the hardest for me to find, save to the end. Two other triangles uh, exist on this plane of quarters. And these are the hardest for me to see, but also I think the most, uh, the most rewarding, right? We haven't tried any triangles of this size right here, right? Spreading across the span of the shape. And we can, bef we can actually um, identify exactly two of these triangles right here. And these one, two triangles are both equilateral, and they're the only two types that we haven't found yet. And if we had more quarters, we could find more of this size. But if you look at the dimensions of the shape, we really have maximized it and found all the triangles we could find. So that gives us two more triangles. So I found 25 equilateral triangles in this shape. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, and if you find any more, please let me know. Thanks.